Today we're taking a look at one of the hardest SAT math problems that I've ever seen. Um, it's not really hard to understand what the problem is asking, uh, but it qu requires some quick mental manipulation of this geometric figure that we're about to see. So in the figure above, arc SPT is one quarter of a circle with center R and radius 6. If the length plus the width of rectangle ABCR in, in this quarter circle here is 8, then the perimeter of the shaded region is, and we're supposed to find what that perimeter is. So we can break up the perimeter and rewrite it in terms of its components. So we're trying to find what arc SBT, this is the first component of our shaded region, is this part here, SBT plus line segment TC, that's on this bottom part here, plus line segment AC, which is a diagonal of our rectangle plus line segment AS. And that fully encloses our shaded region and adding all these four things together will give us the perimeter of the shaded region. So we can start by plugging in things that are really easy for us to find. So arc SPT is one of those for example. It's one quarter of the perimeter of the big circle if we were to draw out the rest of the circle but um, this is the same thing as one fourth of the perimeter of the whole circle. So one fourth of our formula for circle is 2 pi r. So one fourth times 2 pi and the radius we know is 6. It's given to us in the problem. Plus now we have TC here which we can leave for later because we are not given that directly and we also see that AS is of similar difficulty in finding because that's just this little section here and it's not given to us as an explicit length. Um, AC however is uh, more easy for us to find. So AC is a diagonal of our rectangle, right? But we can also note that, let me change the color here, since AC is a diagonal of our rectangle we know that AC is equal to RB. We know that AC equals RB as they're both diagonals of our rectangle. And we know that RB has to be equal to 6, right? Because this is the center of our circle and it's going out to the outside of our circle. So we know that RB is equal to 6. So we know that AC has to also be equal to 6 since it's equal to RB, which is the radius. So we can just plug this in for AC right there. So we can simplify this stuff right here, this pi and this number. We'll put it all to the left hand side here. So this is 3 pi plus 6. That is this part, that's 3 pi plus the 6, plus now we should figure out what TC plus AS is. So there is one way we could do this, which is by uh, setting unknowns, like maybe X for TC, maybe Y for AS, and then creating systems of equations using Pythagorean theorem and all that mess. Um, but there is an easier way to do this, and that's by noticing that TC and AS are both parts of the radius of the semicircle, or quarter circle, with sections removed, right? So RT is the radius of the circle, but if you take out RC, that would give you CT, or TC. Um, AS, we can think about it the same way. AS is basically the radius minus AR. So we can write this out in notational form. First, let's look at TC. We can write TC as TC is equal to RT minus RC, right? Uh, and you can also note that AS, which is again another thing that we need in our final equation, we note that AS is equal to RS minus RA. Awesome, so we can plug these two things into our equation here. RT minus RC plus AS is RS minus RA. Now obviously we can ignore these parentheses since we're just adding everything together. So we can rewrite this as 3 pi plus 6 plus... Now we know that RT is the radius of our circle, so RT is equal to 6. And we know that RS is also a radius of our circle, so this is also 6. So this is 6 uh, minus RC plus 6 minus RA. Again, this can be rewritten, 
3 pi plus 6 plus uh, now we're going to add these 6's together so this is 12 then you have minus RC minus RA which you can rewrite as minus open parentheses RC plus RA and it says here that the length plus the width of, of rectangle ABCR is 8 well that's just RC plus RA right RC is a width of our rectangle and RA is the length of our rectangle so we can write RC plus RA is equal to 8 RC plus RA is equal to 8 and so this will help us simplify our equation. So now we can write, I'm actually going to draw an arrow, this thing up here. So this is 3 pi plus 6 plus 12 is 18 minus the RC plus RA, which we know is equal to 8. So this is 3 pi plus 10. And that's our final answer.